Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you guys joining me on this little journey I got here through some lighting and uh, DJ softwares. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to go through how to add a custom fixture profile to QLC+. So I've had a lot of guys ask me this, and a lot of people ask me this just in general. Hey, I want to use QLC+, but it doesn't have my fixtures in it. So what I'm going to do today is pull open a couple uh, pieces of documentation here. We're going to go through adding a custom fixture to QLC+. All right, so let's go over to the computer here, and what we'll do is we'll open up QLC+, and then I'm say I'm creating a new show file here. I'm going to look through here and say my fixture's not in here. Now, mind you, QLC Plus has a ton of fixtures built in. So like American DJ fixtures, there's all kinds of them in here. The dots are in here, uh, the flat pars, event bars are in here, uh, all the NO pocket uh, moving heads and stuff like that. They're all in here. So your, your mainstream big fixtures and stuff like that, they're all going to be in here. But if you have a custom fixture, say it's like an off-brand or it's a Chinese fixture or um, maybe it's just old enough that it's not actually in here, don't worry, because you can add your own. So what we'll do is we'll go through this and set this up so that you can add your own fixtures in here and uh, use your custom fixtures how they're meant to be used. So the example I'm going to use is I have... i to reach here. I have a set... Well, actually I actually have 12 of these. They're the 9 by 9 watt LED flat pars. Um, they're really bright. They're really good fixtures. I really like them. However, there's no brand name on this, and there's no model name on this. Like, literally, this is it. That's that's all we got. Uh, in this manual, I get crushed in the bottom of the box, is a DMX channel sheet, which is all we're going to need to add this fixture into QLC+. So, as I said before, I can't really go through here and you know, find my fixture, because I don't know what brand it is. I could maybe find one that's close, but... Uh, you know, at the same time, is it going to be exact? Are the numbers going to be exact? Sometimes it's just easier to add your own. So, now you will notice, I'm actually going to pull it up here on the computer because it's easier to see. This is the six channel mode, which is what I want to use. So these are RGB fixtures, so they have two different modes on them. They have a RGB mode, which is just red, green, blue. It's three channels, you know, red, green, and blue, right there. And then back to the computer here is the bottom half of this sheet, which is the six channel mode, which has RGB plus, it has uh, some color macros in there, it has strobe, a strobe channel, and it has a dimmer channel. So one thing, if you guys have messed with RGB fixtures a lot, the RGB faders are typically logarithmic. So it's not a linear up and down uh, on the faders. So say you wanna dim a RGB fixture down, if you only have it in three channel mode, Basically, you have to, once you get the color you want, say you don't have like a, say it's not just red or it's not just green, it's like a teal or something like that. Well, once you have that figured out, if you try to lower those faders at the same rate, all three of them, by the time you get to half, the color is going to be different. Because like I said, they're logarithmic. Not The R, the G, and the B, they don't track exactly the same on most fixtures. So the problem there is, you know, if I want to dim, I have a smooth dim out or a fade out or something like that, I can't really do that and have it keep that exact color as it goes down through. So the solution to that is to have a dimmer channel, is to use the six channel mode. So then once I pick the exact color, the dimmer channel will take all three of those down at the set ratios they are already at. So if I get an exact color that I want, I can dim that color because the fixture knows to keep it the exact same color as it goes up and down on the dimmer. And then you don't have to adjust the RG and the B, you just have to adjust the dimmer channel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this fixture into QLC Plus. So I'll just minimize that. Um, if you, like if I did just wanna use this in three channel mode, I don't have to have it in here. At the bottom of the fixture search here, there is a generic RGB, which is just red, green, and blue. I can use that and that'll get me by for just RGB uh, usage if I just wanna use it in RGB mode. But like I said, we want to make this custom, so we're going to go ahead and add this fixture. This, all, this same process also works with moving heads, and I've got a moving head here. Uh, this one has uh, the highest one is a 14 channel, so this has a bunch of different stuff. It has all the colors. It's got a color wheel. It's got two gobo wheels, uh, gobo rotation, uh, X and Y uh, movement, uh, pan and tilt, sorry. Then you also have 
fine adjustments of those pan and tilt. You also have a XY speed, dimmer, prism, resets, and stuff like that. This same process works with all those. Uh, you just have to basically follow the, uh, the DMX channel sheet that your fixture is provided with. If you don't have a sheet, I don't really know what to tell you. You can experiment and find out what it does what with just a DMX board and just move channels around, see what happens. Uh, you can do that, but sometimes it's kind of hard to get that kind of ironed out, so it's really nice to have the sheet if you can get it. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to close out QLC Plus because QLC Plus reads in the fixture profiles on startup, so if I add a fixture and I leave QLC up, it's not going to see it till I close it out and bring it back up. Um, so we'll go ahead and close it out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to wherever I installed QLC Plus 2 on my computer. Now I'm using Windows here. And I installed it to the default location, which is just the C drive and then QLC Plus. In this folder here, you'll see the QLC Plus application. And then down a little bit lower, you'll also see the QLC Plus fixture editor. That's what we're going to want to open up now and uh, add our fixture with. So we'll go ahead and open that up. And it's you know, not much off the start. So we're gonna, we need to create a new fixture. Now, one thing you can modify fixtures that are already in the system, or you can also modify fixtures that you've already created. So say you mess something up, you get two channels backwards or something, you can open up that fixture profile again and edit it if you need to. But we're gonna create a new one. So we're gonna hit the top left button here, which is just the little green dot up here, the new, create the new, drag right here in the middle. And I don't know the manufacturer of this thing, so I'm gonna say it's a ProLite fixture. Um, I know ProLites is a manufacturer, and I know QLC Plus has some of those, but ProLite, we're just gonna go with that because I have another fixture that's a ProLite fixture that um, is not in QLC, so we're just gonna go with that. So I'm gonna put this as ProLite. And the model, I'm just gonna do RGB flat par, because that tells me what it is, and that I know I'll know how to find it in QLC Plus now. Type, it is a color changer. Um, obviously there's a bunch of different stuff here that you can choose from. Um, it's not an LED bar, uh, it's not smoke or a scanner. I could use other, I could use effect, or I can use color changer. Color changer is gonna be the probably the easiest uh, to work with with all this, and it'll, it'll make sense later. Physical tab here, you can put in the physical properties of the fixture. I'm not gonna worry about that because I really don't need to have them in here, um, but if you need to you know, want to put some uh, details about your fixture, you can put that in here and it'll save it with it. Uh, so the next tab is the channels tab. So the channels, this is not specifically the order the channels have to be in. This is just where we go and set up what channels the fixture uses. And then we can put these channels into modes later. So as you see, it's a three channel mode and six channel mode. We can put these channels into modes later and uh, we can select the mode in QLC Plus once we have it in there. So if I get to a venue and I only want to use the RGB mode or whatever, I can just switch it on my fixture and then I can switch it here on QLC Plus and it'll keep track of it and it'll work effectively that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to add all of our channels here. So I'm just going to go through the six channel mode because the six channel mode also includes the three channel mode channels. So um, the channel editor here has a couple cool features. It does have presets. Um, so I can go down here and I can click a preset of red, green, and blue, and I don't have to type anything else out because on the sheet here it tells me that value 1 to 255 is the red, green, and blue dimmer. So I can show it here is 1 to 255, so it's the full range. It doesn't start at like 50 and go up, it's just full range. So I will go ahead and click red, intensity red, and you'll see here the minimum value is 0, maximum is 255. I should, in theory, change this minimum value to one, but that's such a tiny piece there that it's not actually worth putting it in because the value of one on the fixture itself, you can't see anything. So for my sake, I'm just not gonna worry about that one increment. Um, I will worry about it when it comes to the strobe here in a second when we do that one, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now for this because this just makes it a little bit easier on me and it's not that big of a deal if I don't put that little one in there. So we'll use red, we'll hit okay. We're gonna add green, this could be the same thing. I'm gonna hit green, intensity green, and then blue, intensity blue. That's done. All right, so the next channel we have here is channel four, which is color mixing and run automatically. So this is the color macros. 
Um, so zero to 15 on that channel doesn't do anything. And then once you get to channel 16, that's going to actually start the different macros that it has throughout the range of 16 to 255. Um, I don't know specifically, and it does say from slow to fast. So I'm guessing like down in the 16 to probably 30 range is probably some slow color mixing and just fading. And as you go up through, it probably gets faster and stuff like that when you get to 255. Um, so, eh, what we can do is we can go in here and add, there is a preset here for, um, color macro, but you see it's zero to 255. Now, if you don't use color macros, or even if you do use color macros, um, you're going to have a little gap at the bottom there if you do it from 0 to 255, preset-wise. Now, for me, I don't use color macros. So probably what I would do if I was making this for myself, I would actually put this in just as 0 to 255 because I don't use it. And if I did, I would just probably grab that fader and throw it somewhere. I'm not really looking to have an exact color macro thing because the lights don't necessarily stay together and stuff when you do that. So... You know, I'm just going to let that go, but I am going to show you how to make it yourself. So I'm going to go up here, go to custom, and I'm going to leave it say color macro at the top here. And then type is a color. You can choose a different type. It is effect, you know, whatever else it is. I'm actually going to choose, I'm going to leave it color. That'll work. And then my minimum value here is going to be zero. And then the 15 is going to be my high value for no action. So I'm going to set this to 15. And then I'm going to put no action. And then the next piece is 16 to 255, which is what we see here, 16 to 255. And that's color mixing from slow to fast. So I'm going to put this as color, ooh, C-O-L-O-R, mix slow to fast. And then I'm going to hit OK. And there it is. The next one, next channel, is the strobe. So 0 to 127 is no action. So there is strobe presets. I'm going to hit one of them here, but I'm not going to use it because it doesn't work quite like this. Slow to fast. Um, but see, this is 0 to 255, and my fixture is uh, 128 to 255. So that's big enough that I am going to change that. So we'll just go back and hit custom. Now, it does keep the stuff when you use the presets, so it saves me some typing. So strobe is fine. Type is shutter. So if we had a, a physical or a, a non-LED uh, moving head or something like that, it would actually use a physical shutter for the strobe. So that's fine by here. So we're going to go 0 to 127. 127 is no action. And then 128 to 255, it pre-fills it in when you click it, which is nice. It's going to be strobe, slow, to fast. We'll hit OK on that. And there's our strobe channel. Now the last channel is the dimmer channel. So we'll hit the add button here and you'll see here 0 to 31 is no action 32 to 255 is it says bright up gradually but it's a dimmer so let's set this uh let's pick a preset here master or just use dimmer which is fine so that just means it fills this in and gets our type right and then we'll hit custom and so 0 to 31 is i'm actually gonna can i copy that no action and then 32 to 255 is Dimmer, low to high, which is fine. And then we'll hit OK. All right, so now we have all six of our channels put in here. Now we need to create the two modes so QLC knows how to handle the fixture, if, depending on what mode you have the actual physical piece in. So we'll go over here to the Modes tab. We'll hit the plus here to add the mode. This mode is going to be the three-channel mode. I'm just going to literally name it 3CH. And now what you have to do is you have to add the channels to this mode. So this three channel mode is only red, green, and blue. So I'm just gonna add red, green, and blue. Hit okay. And then now it actually has them numbered. So you'll look at your sheet here, you know, you have channels one, two, and three, and four, and five, and stuff like that. This is where those channel numbers correspond. So these have to be in the correct order. So say you got these out of order when you added them, you can hit the up and down buttons here and move them around as you need to. But in this case, we just want one, two, and three, red, green, and blue. Uh, this is not a moving head fixture or a multiple head fixture, so we don't need to add heads in here. And of course, you can adjust physical properties here as well if you need to. We'll hit OK on that. Now we're going to add our six channel modes. So we'll just do 6CH. And here, we're just going to add all six channels. Three, four, five, and six. 
And then we just got to make sure that these are in the correct order now. So say if I switched these two when I added them, I can just, you know, click on the one I want and move it up and down so that these correspond one, two, three, four, five, six, just like the sheet does that you have. All right, we'll hit okay on that. And that's it. We have now added it. So what we got to do now is we're going to have to save this. I'm going to hit save as, and we have to save it in the location where QLC knows to find it. So by default, QLC uh, looks for custom fixture profiles in your uh, the user you're using the computer as. So in my case here, it's the user Matt, because that's me. Um, but it's under the users folder, the person who's using this computer or whatever username you have set up. And then underneath the, that user's profile, there's a folder called QLC Plus and then fixtures after that. So this defaults to where they're supposed to go. But if for some reason... Um, you need to move this fixture profile to another computer. Say you made your show file on a computer and then you're taking the show file to another computer for a gig or whatever. Uh, you have to take your show file and you have to take any custom fixture profiles you have. So when you go to the other computer, you just have to make sure to copy this RGB flat par dot QXF over to the new computer in the same location. So that whatever that user is, um, like say that I went to John's computer and uh, I'll go see users John QLC plus fixtures. So that way that QLC installation knows where to look, knows where to find the custom fixture profile. So I'm just going to save that here and then we can close this out. Now I'm going to open up QLC plus, add a fixture, and now we should have a pro light category that we did not have before. There it is. We'll hit the open on that. So there's just the one fixture I created, RGB flat bar. And there's the RGB for three channel mode. And then I'll take the mode down to six channel. And there we go. Now we have RGB plus the other ones. And here you would just set your address, how many you had. If your universe is a different universe, you can add that here too as well. And I'm just going to add two here for an example. Hit OK. And there they are. Now we can use these in scenes and use these with uh, um, matrices and all kinds of stuff like that. So there you have it. That's how to add a fixture profile in here. Like I said, if you, if you go to a different computer, you have to take this fixture profile with you. It doesn't save it to your show file because the show file is separate from the fixtures. So you just got to remember to transfer those two things back and forth as you need to. But that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tried to make it as quick as I could. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. And uh, I'll make some more videos on QLC Plus coming up here as well. I've got some more ideas and stuff that might help you guys out to use a really good software for your events. So thanks for joining me. If you're not already subscribed and you made it this far, you might as well hit the subscribe button. I don't post that often. I don't post junk. I try to make videos that are specifically for lighting, sound, audio, DJing, things like that. So uh, I'd appreciate your subscription because that helps me out. So thank you guys much and we'll catch you in the next video.